I have a second channel, Cube Comp MTDX. Hey everybody. Last year in 2018, I posted a video to YouTube about upgrading to Windows 10 from Windows 7. And um, when you would try to upgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 7 using Windows 10 build 1803, uh, from within Windows 7, you would get an error message saying "Setup failed to um, Setup failed to validate product key," and it seemed like at the time you can no longer upgrade to Windows 10 from Windows 7. However, I'm not exactly so sure about that because you can still do it from Windows 10 17.09. So fast forward to now, we have Windows 10 19.03, which is the May 2019 update. I got it right here on the flash drive, and we're going to insert this Windows 7 computer and see what we get when we try to do an installation. So, in reality, what I'm going to end up doing with this thing is I'm going to clean install because this computer apparently can support UEFI booting. So, but I figure since we had an installation on Windows 7 on here, it'd be a good opportunity to see what the installer would do. So, let's have a look here. We'll run setup. Now I should mention that the new Windows 10 setup for 1903 is a bit different than previous ones about how it handles updates. At first appearance, it seems like you cannot avoid the, install the installer checking for updates which is rather annoying but in reality you can actually go in and tell it to not check for updates before doing an installation so we're going to let this start up and you can see even even the uh, UI interface looks a little different than it used to and that it's white and not purple now when you boot off this uh, ISO it's still purple like the previous Windows 10 Windows 8 installers so what you have to do is you have to click change how Windows sub downloads updates and say not right now. So this computer is not on the internet anyway. And you click next. It's going to go to the checking your PC. And previously in Windows 10 1803 you would get somewhere in here the error message set up failed to validate the product key. And honestly, I think it was a Windows 10 18.03 issue because I think I have actually did a few Windows 7 to Windows 10 upgrades off of 18.09, which was the build after that. And you see, we have been presented with the license agreement page, which is something we would not be uh, presented with in the previous video. It would just, at this point, it would have already errored out and said, um, set up failed to buy the product key. So we would accept the license terms, and it's going to go through the uh, making sure you're ready to install, choose what to keep. Now, if I remember right, I don't think I saw a license agreement in um, the previous scenario. The reason why I'm doing this video is I wanted to revisit this topic because Windows 7, although many of us love it, it has less than one year of support left. Jeez, it seems, it seems like just a year ago we were losing Windows XP. Well, 2014 has already been five years ago. Hard to believe it, but it's true. I'm not going to proceed forward with installing it from Windows 7. I'm going to do a clean install. That's because this computer, as I mentioned, supports UEFI booting. It's an HP system from, I believe... Oh, crap, I don't know. It's pro probably... Maybe 2012. Not really sure of the year of it, but... It does offer UEFI support, so probably it's probably from the Windows 8 era. Probably from 2012. And this Windows 7 ins installation is not running very fast, and man, they really, they really have their display settings set to cut off the monitor rather quickly. Okay, guys, this is this is just taking forever to install. <laughs> um, or at least it's taking forever to get through this little 
um, prompt. I'm not sure exactly the health of this Windows 7 install. So I'm going to go ahead and call it. We got past the point in the previous uh, video where we would have gotten the error message saying Windows um, or saying setup failed to validate the product key. We've already got past that point, so I know for a fact it'll work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to restart this thing. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to, I'm going to just brutally restart it because, uh, yeah, getting ready to wipe the hard disk anyway. So I'm going to venture into the BIOS on this thing and change our boot mode. I think it's in boot order on this one. Okay, so yeah, this one, as you see, it does support UEFI and legacy boot sources. So I think on this, all we have to do is just let's see your system security. I'm going to turn virtualization on. Okay, the copyright on this BIOS is 2012, so yeah, I figured this was a 2012 or 2013 year computer. It probably was released right before Windows 8 came out. This BIOS, I don't see um, Secure Boot in here, so... But I do see UFI, so... Let's go ahead and install using UFI mode. So here we go, UEFI, which we'll use 64 bit. Now I'm not going to film the entire installation process. I mean, I've, I've filmed quite a few um, videos in, that involve installing Windows 10, and plus there's so much on YouTube that you can find out there. If you're wanting to learn how to install Windows 10, it's practically the same as Windows 7. And Cortana had to interrupt this video. Shut up! You can use your voice or the keyboard along Shut the way. up! <laughs> Anyways, yeah, that's a laptop I have over here installing Windows 10 on. Of course, I had to interrupt me. <laughs> so, anyways, um, we'll get through this installer, installation process, and we'll see how this activates. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the Windows 7 Home Premium uh, sticker key on the side of this machine. And we'll see how that does. It should work fine. I'll go ahead and enter the product key off camera. Okay, it did accept the product key I entered. And it should install as Windows 10 Home. And let's see how this um, drive is partitioned. See if it partitions it as UEFI or MBR. Or, well, I meant to say it's GPT or MBR. It partitions it as GPT. So we'll let this install and we'll see how it ends up when we're done. Okay, everybody, uh, just got done clean installing Windows 10 1903 onto this machine, and it is activated. Windows 10 Home activated off of the Windows 7 product key, so that means you can still to this day do Windows 10 clean installations and upgrades for free using your existing 107 license um, license key. So anyways, I think that answers some questions. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. Well guys, that's it for this one. But it doesn't have to be. There's plenty more videos on the channel to check out. Also, if you liked the video, please click the like button. 
And if you absolutely hated it, there is the alternative button as well. But yeah, please subscribe to the channel. I definitely appreciate it. And remember to click the bell so that we get notified of all updates. Also, if you're interested in things aside from computers and technology, check out my second channel. It's CubeComp MTDX. Over there you'll find videos about weather, elevators, bicycling, and pretty much whatever else I figure out to upload. So yeah, anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this video, and thank you for your support.